Hello, my loves. Um, I want to share this with you. Um, it's about a girl, a woman, called Edie Sedgwick. She was a model and what they call an it girl in the 60s. And she was um, Andy Warhol's muse, I suppose. Um, she died at the age of 28. She had a tragic, tragic life. And um, I think she was one of seven children, seven or eight children. Her two older brothers died, one from suicide, one from a motorcycle accident, and that affected her greatly. She suffered from mental stress and anorexia most of her life and um, tragically died at the end, age of 28 from barbiturate poisoning intentionally or not I don't know but um, I don't remember her at the time I read about her the last few months and I just thought I'd like to do a short video as a memoriam to a beautiful woman. So, of Edith Sedgwick. Her name was actually Edith. I came to New York to see what I could see and to find the living part. I was dancing jazz ballet twice a day, so I just wore my leotards. Vogue photographed me in leotards and a t-shirt as a new costume. I'd make a mask out of my face because I didn't realize I was quite beautiful. It's taken me 27 years to realize it. Yeah, she was beautiful. I remember having to walk down um, thousands and thousands. 1965, yeah, Poor Little yeah. Rich Girl, this yeah, film. Nothing but a very, very blue sky. I never thought about it going up. But At least you chose the easier way. <laughs> I don't know. For example, now... Merv Griffin if Show, I wanted to buy, 1965. Uh, a Campbell soup can or a Brillo box. <laughs> without going to the supermarket, but no, I want to buy an Andy Warhol. What would I have to pay? What are they going for now? Andy Warhol, an AD. <laughs> he does not know. Hmm. He does. Then I, I must say I liked the introduction to drugs I received. I was a, a good target for the scene. I, I blossomed into a healthy young drug addict. That's sad. Then I moved out to Santa Barbara to straighten out, supposedly, and I started using drugs that I found were well. plentiful and Isla Vista oh, around the college campus, UCSB. That's a, a movie, that's not real life. All kinds of kids a lot younger than me. I had fun, but I really didn't have anyone I particularly loved. I st and I still don't, except for loving friends. But I mean, I, I haven't been in love with anyone in years and years. I, but I have a certain amount of faith that it'll come.
married in 1971. She met him when she was in um, hospital, psychiatric hospital, I believe. Surname was Post. And I said to her, you know, Edie, I'm so glad Edie's you're brother. married. I'm so glad you're married, and I'm so glad you're so happy, because she really was happy, and she wasn't doing drugs at that particular moment. She looked at me with this wonderful feeling in her eyes, and then I said, but I thought you would never make it. And it was as if glass had been broken. Her eyes fractured into... And that made me realize that she was... Her strength, in a way, came from my belief in her. So I'd broken that valuable core in her and then or two weeks later or something she was dead oh. november the 16th 1971 at the age of 28 she died cause of her death was barbiturate overdose you will never be forgotten little miss s cedric so I'd like to say here as well that the Sedgwick family have a plot um, in the shape of a pie, it is, in the States. I think it's in California. And a lot of the family are buried in that plot. Edie was not. She wasn't buried there. She's buried in a different cemetery. I'll find out the name and, and put it in the description and simply her inscription reads her name which was Edie, Edith Post because she'd married so Edith Sedgwick Post um, wife of I can't remember his, his first name isn't that terrible but let's say John Post and um, but she was omitted she wasn't her family were very very wealthy and very controlling her father was a narcissist an adulterer and allegedly attempted to molest her on numerous occasions so that's a short life of Edie Sedgwick died 1971 at the age of 28 years old beautiful beautiful woman thanks for listening bye bye